Hello and welcome to part four, the last one for now. But as you saw, there are many kits that I have not covered yet since I have no information on them. So I think there will be a part five, if not a part six on Serie A. And I will have to redo all this up here. But yeah, that's how it goes. In this part, there are actually quite a few uh, interesting teams in there. Um, that I all have kind of sympathy too. Of course, we start off with Roma, which is my second favorite Italian team, and I'm wearing this wonderful away jersey from that season. Uh, it has some special stuff on it that I will show you in a separate video. I'm gonna do review all these shirts back there right after. Uh, at least the club shirts right after. I finish with this series and you will get them in upcoming days. Okay, let's start with the Roma. Uh, Roma home jersey is always something I look forward to. I just love this deep red with the yellow, this classic Roman colors. Uh, and this one is actually quite special that it, at first it looks, yeah, this is just a Nike template uh, from 2018 applied to Roma jersey. And yes, this is without sponsor. There is a Qatar Airways sponsor, which yeah, Say what you will. Uh, they had Barcelona now, they have Roma. Milan has Emirates. Yeah. Uh, there's something about Qatar I just don't like, especially politics wise, and that they get this World Cup. But it's fine, let it have Roma. The jersey has a, such a nice feature that I can look past this. And the feature is if you look a little bit closer, there is kind of a ring pattern all over. There is a structure to it and the structure is actually chain mail. It mimics a Roman soldier chain mail and that is such a great feature. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Um, it's a little bit in contrast with the zigzaggy pattern on the shoulders but uh, you know what? You don't see it so I'm fine. I also like that it's just a simple red, uh, not red, yellow collar and you know you have the Roma crest and you have the swoosh also in yellow. So really nice. They could have done a little bit more with the taping. I think it says Roma on the back. If that is yellow or does something like the Avengers you will see, then it would be perfect. But this chain mail, wonderful. This is a great classic Roma jersey. Uh, it, yeah, I, this is among the best. And Roma jerseys, the, uh, just the color is always nice. I also like this dark uh, red. This is especially on the Roma. Uh, not many teams can pull it off, but this is really nice. Really, really, really nice jersey by Roma. Uh, I'm gonna go 10 stars just for this chain mail idea. Great job, Nike, here. You really delivered a great jersey. Could have done a little bit more better on the back, but I love this one. Then the away jersey, um, yeah. Away jerseys for Roma are usually white and then they try to take a little bit off color. This one's kind of an ivory. Now here there's a little bit light gray. Uh, honestly, I'm not too excited, especially that the swoosh then is also black. If you do it in red, it looks nice. So I think the best feature is on the back, the taping with the wolf's crest that I have here. Uh, also there. This is something I would have liked to see in the home jersey too. But other than that, this is kind of boring. I'm sorry to say, I would love to like it, but I want to see a little bit more. Like they had once the, another wages everyone have as the map of Rome is on the front. This was also a really nice one, but this one is boring. Sorry to say, I... the nicest thing is the wolf's crest on the back. Where shall I go? I want to go four just for lack of imagination. Although I like the Giallo Rosso tape in here, but that's just too little of a detail to make it better. And then the away jersey is bright yellow. And this is also supposed to be a map of Rome on there. And I think I, you can kind of see it. Uh, I want to see a better ver version of this. And maybe if I get a better one, I really put it in a video. I don't like that they made the crest kind of with a silver. I think if, you could have kept the yellow here or just you know reverse the colors a little bit I think you could have kept the yellow here and then of course here with the Qatar Airways it's not a bad sponsor logo 
Uh, of course, the yellow and then the orangey, maybe if this pattern here would be red, it would have been even better and looks a little bit wild. And if you don't know, this is a city of Rome, you wonder what is this craziness on there. This is another crazy 90s pattern. In this case, it is not. But, and also that it doesn't really extend to the sleeves. The sleeves are just yellow. Uh, kind of is a little bit of a downer here. So again, uh, it's a great idea, but there's some pieces of execution that I don't like. I like it better than the Away jersey though, so I give it uh, seven stars and maybe I have to get a yellow Roma shirt. We'll see. On to the next team. And that's one of my favorite Italian jerseys that I do not have, Sampdoria. And this is by Homa. As you see, we get a lot of different suppliers there. I just love this iconic blue jersey with the white band with the uh, red and black and then the crest centered. It's wonderful. And I think this is the uh, crest of Genoa. Uh, one of the true classic designs. Of course here they mess a little bit with the color. If Homer makes, does not have this white one here, but just leaves it blue, we're talking a, a 9 to 10 stars here. I actually like the that they repeat the chest bands a little bit around the collar, but the collar just puts me off. So I'm going eight, but Sampdoria shirts are some of the best in uh, soccer, period. And they also don't mess around with that a lot. Then they make a very smart uh, away jersey, um, just white. And now instead of having the chest band, they make it a vertical uh, band, um, which I always love when it's off-centered going through the crest. Really love the one. That one is better, and I give this a nine. Again, this probably will be with sponsors. Uh, that's why I actually like this. Uh, that the home jersey is never really compromised because the sponsor is always below. You cannot mess with it. All this would be the perfect sponsor location. And then the third jersey takes what the white jersey is doing, but just puts the band on the other side and then puts a flag of Genoa as a crest with a very old style collar. I also love this one. Ah, oh, Sampdoria, you cannot do wrong with me almost. You really cannot do wrong. This one, this is a nine. I love it. This is a, a, the, the tie down uh, collar, old school, wonderful. I even go 10 here. This is a 10. I love it. Absolutely love it. Yep. Yep. Cannot, cannot say more to it. Absolutely love it. Now we go to another team in the law of tradition, the true team of Turin, which is Torino by Kappa. And they are trying to do something like Inter with all these diamonds, but I'm sure this is not a snake pattern. Um, it's a little bit hampered by all the sponsors on front, uh, and I would love to do a little bit more with the Toro, the bull sign. I mean, they, you have it on, on the crest, which, which looks nice. I like all the color fold over, um, even the, the side strap is okay, but the sponsors are a little bit too much, especially across from, from the crest and then the Suzuki doesn't seem to be very centered here, but this could be just due to the um, angle that, that, that we're looking here. Um, honestly, this diamond pattern, if I don't have any more um, background to it. Yes, there seems to be a bull inside of the pattern. If I look here on the back, there seems to be a bull, which is nice. Make it a little bit more prominent. And for that reason, I I like the, the dark red again. Uh, with the white, it's not as great for me as with the yellow for Roma, but it's still nice. Uh, the sponsors are a little bit too much. So that's why I'm gonna go seven here. The, it, this could be better. It could be better. Uh, same thing goes for the away jersey, which is basically inversion, but we had, why is the sponsor, why are the two sponsors in bright red and not the red that we know from Torino from the collar? Um, I almost want to drop this to six, but I'm going to keep it at seven. Uh, also nice, you know, Torino also cannot do much wrong. Oh, Italian teams in general cannot do much wrong with me. I just, I just love Serie A jerseys uh, that's and I need to get more I know uh, need to go to Italy again yep and we also have a third jersey which we which was a black and this one I like the best of that of them again the sponsors could be a little bit nicer uh, but I'm gonna go eight here this looks sharp also a little bit gold in there which yeah doesn't fit with Torino 
I still haven't won much, but yeah, this looks, this one I like best of them. Of course, if I would get a Torino jersey, it has to be the dark red one. Uh, I don't, I don't want to play around with um, alternate jerseys if I don't have the home jersey. I did that with Roma and it took me a long time until I got the red one. Okay, and then we have the last one is Udinese. I don't have the home jersey, which would be black and white stripes, of course, and I'm really looking forward to that, but the away jersey is golden. Yes, the crest involves gold, but this is a little bit too bold, and this is for once I have to give Macron a little bit of uh, grief here. Uh, make it white. Please make it white. Don't use so much gold, it's just too much. Is Udinese maybe celebrating something? That could be. It could be the golden centenary jersey. I have to look it up, you will. In fact, I'm gonna stop the video right now and look it up. No, no Centenary jersey. This is gold for gold's sake. I'm sorry. Um, there needs to be a reason to use gold. It just doesn't look right. I mean, it looks right within the context of the crest, but there's more gray on there and this would make more sense. No, I'm sorry. Uh, gold for gold's sakes, I never liked. Uh, I mean, there are Milan jerseys that are golden and uh, there were times where Milan could have played in gold, but not at the times that they released those kits. So, uh, and I'm not gonna excuse this for Udinese here as well. Just a choice of color. Other than that, that uh, jersey looks nice. I like the color in black. I like also that the sleeve cuffs have a little bit black and white. Uh, it's very simple. Maybe the sponsors are a little bit too much. Um, and there are also lots of sponsors on the back. Uh, the lettering is also weird. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, Udine is a nice town. I visited last year. I really liked Udine, but this is, I can't look past the gold. Since the jersey design that is not that bad, I'm gonna give it a five. And unfortunately, the third jersey doesn't do much better because it just takes colors out of nowhere and doesn't make a nice, there's nothing that's related to Udine or Udinese or whatever. This is just a dark steel blue with neon green, neon yellow colors. Again, the style is nice, the colors are not. Gonna give this also, a f I'm gonna give this a four. I like the gold one better. And that says a lot. Well, part four is in the books. As I said, there will be a part five potentially even part six, uh, when we get more jerseys. Uh, let me know what you thought about all these jerseys, whether you agree, disagree with me. Um, and yeah, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of these, subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.